Hey guys, uh, quick video today. I'm going to perform a belt replacement on this Citizen floppy drive. Um, these ones here, these models here, are super common for having bad belts. Um, they're usually found in early uh, compact portable computers, uh, Amiga floppy drives, and in my case, the external floppy drive for the uh, Olivetti Quaderno. So, uh, let's get to it. I've already opened it once to remove the old belt and to uh, uh, measure its size. Uh, of course, it was all stretch and gummy, so um, I kind of have to uh, kind of had to eyeball it. But um, I found a website on eBay, um, uh, sorry, a seller on eBay called uh, Modern Radio, Modern Radio, that uh, I think has uh, the uh, perfect replacement belt for it. So this is a drive. Uh, I'm going to uh, take it apart a bit further. I'm going to start by removing this uh, flap here. It's just like removing the spring. And there we go. Okay, so spring is off. And there it is. So, um, next up, I need to remove this button here, so we can move this carriage uh, off. So, let me just pull this off. There we go. And now I think uh, I should be able to remove everything. Um, don't loosen these two, because they will remove the head. Uh, I, I've already done this uh, mistake once and that will mess up the alignment and I think I actually have done it uh, I've actually done it this time here too uh, the last time I opened it so I hope that this will be uh, still aligned but do don't do that <laughs> you risk sc screwing up your drive so let me just remove the two side springs I need a beefier sort of pliers for that one and the other spring sits right here okay there we go now we've removed the springs we can push this in it will loose it will release the top half and there we go got the top frame off now I want to place something let's use this between the heads so that they don't touch and finally I have to remove a tiny screw to okay I need to remove this uh, tiny screw here to remove this little plastic cover and then we can route the there we go we can route the belt which I actually don't recall exactly how it was uh, routed so that kind of helps uh, I also need to remove these two screws here so they can There we go, that works perfectly. So that I can remove the uh, spindle motor. So, there we go. All right, there we go. Now, here comes the hard part. How do we get, oh shit. Oh, that thing was. stay there now how do we get the belt on <laughs> so this does goes here Let's see actually if there are some residues that I need to clean I think I've already cleaned it so there shouldn't be any I'm actually going to unplug the, uh, the motor here so I can remove it completely hopefully yeah check yeah it's a little bit dirt 
there's a little bit of a uh, mark on it, but I don't think it's a big deal. Um, so, how do we get the belt on? That's always the hard part. Uh, I think that if I go get it on the motor first, that should make my life one heck of a lot easier. Okay, so it's on right here. Now you have to get it through this um, thing here. Damn it, again. You. And then he has to go. You can probably, you're not seeing a thing. I'm sorry for that. Come on. You can do it. And uh, I think. Stay there. I think that's it. Uh, I think the belt is on. It is. Uh, it may not be the perfect size, honestly, for this drive here. But. Uh, I guess that. Yeah, it's not really aligned properly, but. I think that should work, so now I just need to put it back, test it out and uh, see if it still works or if I uh, completely trashed it. Either way, thanks for watching.